So what is a HEPA filter? We've mentioned it three or four times already, but what is it specifically? So HEPA is an acronym that stands for High Efficiency Particulate Air. Let's think about what a HEPA filter is. If you can imagine a three-dimensional spider web, right. just a weaving and of, of depth layer of, of spider webs, it doesn't use UV light, it doesn't use any sort of chemicals uh, to capture that particle or kill that particle, it uses mechanical filtration. That mechanical filtration is solid state. It's going to be there forever. So there's no moving parts. That's it. There's no moving parts. The only thing that's moving is the air through that filter. So high efficiency particulate filters are by definition a minimum H13. That's, that's the designator for it. Um, and that means that it's 99.95% at a minimum efficiency at MPPS. That's the low end. That is, the, that is the minimum definition for a HEPA filter. And what's the high end on a product like this or something that you put in your house? So HEPA filters uh, go to a, a very high range of efficiencies. So they can go 99.9995% efficient. Some of that stuff that's used in your biological containment facilities, pharmaceutical research facilities. But what we're looking for at a minimum when it comes to an air purifier is an H14. And that's 99.995% efficient at MPPS. What is MPPS? I'm not heard. What does that mean? That stands for most penetrating particle size. So if you think about what a filter does, it captures particles. Um, and, and it captures particles in a, in a variety of sizes. So down from 0.1 microns and smaller, all the way up to 10 microns and, and larger. Um, so what we're looking at is the definition of a HEPA filter. And that is defined as what is the, most, what is the efficiency of that filter at its most penetrating particle size. And that particle size range is around 0.1 to 0.2 microns. So that's the particle that's most likely to get through, but it's even, you know, 99.995. That's just a, a tiny fraction of the most penetrating particle gets through. But larger particles are captured at virtually 100%. I guess you really can't say 100%, but close to 100% as right. possible. So right? pretty much anything smaller than the MPPS particle size is captured nearly 100% and pretty much anything larger than MPPS is captured at 100%. So the definition of a filter is, a HEPA filter is defined as how efficient is it at collecting that most penetrating part of the It's size. its weakest point. So that way you can evaluate at its weakest point, this filter is still 99.995. That's correct. Okay, so you're capturing the particles, but are you killing the particles? So because I'm thinking if there's a germ in the air, I want to kill it, right? Do you want to kill the particle? Well. You don't necessarily want to kill the particle. You want to make sure that particle is not going to stay in the airstream. The particle itself, it's, let's take a virus for example, that particle is going to eventually die in that HEPA filter. As it's captured, it's going to become inactive. Um, if we think about the alternative technologies that are out there today, the bipolar ionization, ozone generation equipment, the ionizers, those things are not necessarily capturing the particle. They're trying to kill the particle, still leaving them in the airstream and still making it um, possible for you to be able to breathe a live or a dead particle. Okay, so if, if a UV light or some of this other technology you're talking about, it reacts with a particle in the air in my house, there's a particle floating, obviously I can't see it, but you're t it's there, and if this other technology kills it, I still breathe it in, but what you're saying with a HEPA filter, that's not true. It's captured, it's stuck in there, and I don't even have to breathe it in. That's correct. So what we want to do is make sure that we select a product, select a filtration technology or any technology for that matter, that removes the particle from the air. Not necessarily just inactivates it and hope, hope that it inactivates it. We want to remove it from the air so we don't have to breathe in either a living or a dead micro, microorganism.